What's up, gay straight snow days? It's Mally. I'm back with another episode of A Summer's End. And, uh, we got a really, really happy start to this one because finally, finally, we made a decision for ourselves and we kissed Sam. And now, now we're back in her apartment, apparently for the third time. And the reason why I cut it there was because I feel like we still have more story to go. I feel like if they just cut it there where like we resolve and everything kind of as far as like our relationship in that sense, I feel like that's cheating. So they better not do that. There better be more to this story. Okay, this better not be the end. Anyway, let's just get into this because I'm so excited and I'm so happy. For the third time, I found myself in Sam's apartment. It was messier compared to the last time I visited. Dirty dishes collected in her sink. Empty takeout boxes and drink bottles were left on her table. Oh, baby's been nursing a broken heart, but I'm here now and it's okay. The plants by the window had signs of wilting. Has she been keeping busy? I wondered. Sorry, it's a little messy. It's fine, I don't mind it. Here, let me hang up your jacket. I'll get you a towel to dry off. Thanks. Oh. If you neglect to water a house plant, it would slowly wither and die. And if you water a plant too much, the roots would drown and the plant would rot. Since last time and now, was what was given enough? Or was it too much? Would the plant be able to flower into the new season? I hoped that it would. What I was to Sam and what she was to me, it wasn't something that mattered anymore. I wanted to know for myself what feelings I had for Sam, and what feelings Sam had for me. You might have to start leaving some of your clothes here if this keeps happening. <laughs> Sam! Wow, okay. A little forward, but I like it. <laughs> Did you end up eating, by the way? Huh? From the brisket place earlier. No, I, I could not keep my eyes off of you. I didn't. I'm sorry to have interrupted your date. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> no, it's not a date. Joey might have wanted it to be a date. Poor, poor puppy. <laughs> Wrong tree. Uh, but no, it, it wasn't a date. <laughs> it wasn't a date. Thank you, Michelle, for clarifying. <laughs> hmm. You want anything, then? Want what? Something to eat to make up for your dinner. I don't really want to go out again in the rain. I can make something. I'm still a little hungry. Really? You can cook? You're always so surprised at everything I do. Wife her! I mean, with a decent amount of time, but wife her, oh my goodness. Do I seem like someone who can't cook? <laughs> well, I mean, judging a book by its cover, but also, I mean, look at your plants, Sam. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm being too cruel. No, I didn't mean that. I'll make something. Any requests? Anything goes. All right, how about a black bean stir-fry, okay? Aww. Sam had me sit down and wait, saying her kitchen was too small to fit two cooks. Well, I'm not cooking. I, I want to wrap my arms around you from behind and rest my chin on your shoulder, but then you might get too distracted, so I'll behave. I watched her prepare the meal. It didn't take her long to prepare the ingredients. She effortlessly cut up the vegetables she had in her fridge and fried up the vegetables with some ground pork, along with some garlic, ginger, pepper, and black bean paste to taste. Okay, that sounds really good. Now I'm hungry. Thanks, Sam. Her little portable stove packed heat. When she turned up the gas, flames quickly licked up the side of the wok and engulfed the entire pan. The ingredients were cooked in no time. Sam must have cooked a lot in the past. It made sense as she lived alone. She didn't seem to flinch when the oil sizzled and popped, nor when the flames erupted from the wok. If I had an older sister, she might have cooked for me like this. I wasn't a spoiled little sibling, though. And Sam wasn't my sister. Okay, good, because you and the sister metaphors confuse me sometimes. It's ready. Huh? Only one side dish? Huh? It's not enough? Well, I'm used to having a variety of dishes. Michelle! You have too many complaints. Please compliment me for once. I was! In my head, I just the compliments that I have to say to you, Sam, and this is speaking as Michelle, given where she was staring when she came in here, are a little, um, a little soon right now. 
<laughs> How is it? Does it taste good? It's not bad. That's it? Not bad means it's not bad. It's a compliment. If it's not bad, then you should say it's good. If it's good, I'll say that it's good. <laughs> it's not good? Oh, pouty baby, come here. Come here. What are you doing all the way over there? It's good enough to eat every day. Oh, Michelle. That was so cute. Oh, Michelle, you got so smooth. Why don't you get so smooth, sweetie? Aw. Do you cook often, Sam? Sometimes. It's nice to eat home cooking every once in a while. I see. How about you, Michelle? No, my mother cooks for me at home. That's nice. I'm sure she makes great meals. Sam, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? About my mother? Um, it's been a long time. It's nothing to feel sorry about. You know, my dad was the one who cooked in my family. I learned how to cook from him. Black bean stir fry was his favorite dish to make. Oh, I see. My mother used to work quite late, so my dad was the one who took care of the household. We had a strange family dynamic, don't you think? No, not at all. I'm glad I could experience a part of your family. Michelle. Thank you, Sam. I'll help you with the dishes. Okay. Oh, this is so cute and domestic. Something's probably gonna ruin it, but I'm happy to have this moment. So cute. It seems like the rain has stopped now. It looks like it. Will you be heading out? I don't want to. I... What would you like to do, Michelle? I should call my mother and let her know I'm coming home. I see. But... I want... I want to stay a little bit longer. I want to talk to you more. Is that okay with you? After what felt like an eternity, Sam answered me. That's all right with me. I'm happy to spend time with you. I missed you. My heart. Oh. Sam. I like the way you observe everything around you. And the way you express yourself sincerely. But please know I don't want to be someone that makes you uncomfortable or feel ashamed of yourself. I hope you can understand how I feel. Beneath her cheery disposition, there was a falter in her voice. Sam's lips were tilted upwards, but her smile was bittersweet. I could feel the weight in Sam's words. I shouldn't be replying to her half-heartedly. Come here! Come over here and snuggle with me. This is... No, you're... This is sad. Come here. Nor should I take for granted her feelings. I was the one who had given her the cold shoulder. I had hurt her. I shouldn't expect Sam to still want more than this. In the heat of the moment, I said that I wanted her. In the heat of the moment, I was... I was... I was being true to myself. There you go. It was cowardly of me to have run away the next morning. But understandable. I'm, I'm not shaming her for running away. I understand why she did it. She shouldn't have. But... I get it. But you're being true to yourself now, and it's better now than never. And that goes for anyone else at home, too. What I couldn't face the next morning was myself. I didn't want to accept yet that I had feelings for Sam. I was scared. I was scared of the repercussions of furthering our relationship. But when we are together, it's as if the troubles in my mind had washed away with the rain. I wasn't afraid to be with her. Good. That's the way it should be. Sam. There's so much I don't know. All I know is that I keep thinking of you. I missed you. I missed you so much. Michelle, the one thing that I'm certain of is that when I'm with her, I don't want anything else. I... Michelle, I know we share something special. Please, let me be a part of your life. Even after the summer is gone, I still want to be here for you. Sam, please, it doesn't matter if summer is over. Please be with me. Oh, 
this is the kind of poetry. This is the kind of words of love that I wanted. Oh, my heart. We held each other for a long time. When we broke free from each other's arms, I saw that Sam was smiling from tooth to tooth. I felt giddy too, as if I was on the moon. I never felt this way before with anyone. One day, I'll be able to properly convey my feelings to Sam in words. I couldn't find the right words just yet. What I felt for her was more than affection between friends, and deeper than mere physical attraction. I wanted to learn more about Sam and the world around her, and for her to learn more about me. The vocabulary would come to me soon, I know. Later into the night, I asked Sam to put on a movie for us to watch. She dimmed the lights and put on a video. He watched the movie on her bed. It was a light and funny movie. Sam laughed candidly. She leaned her head on my shoulder. Aww. Her hair smelled nice, I thought. It was so good to spend time together again like this. The day on the beach with Sam was so dreamy. I wish I could relive that day with her. The past cannot be undone, but I hope that I could be strong enough not to repeat it. Well, you're going to have a million more beach days like this as long as you communicate and stay together. I believed in Sam's words. When she said that she missed me and wanted to be with me, my heart swelled. I was happy that I could make amends with Sam. Though a small part of me was scared. You know what, Michelle? And anyone listening, actually, that might be feeling similar things. That is normal, and that is okay. It's fine. Acknowledge those feelings. Don't try to hide them. But don't let them control you. I worried that I might have admired something in our relationship. A tiny voice in my head wondered, would Sam still love me the same way? <laughs> I think she loves you even more now. Would it be possible for us to be as we were in the past? No. You'll be better. Sam was such a nice and gentle person. She had never done anything to hurt me. She has always been kind to me. Trust. It was something difficult to gain and something much easier to lose. The two months we were apart felt like a century. I looked for Sam's glances during the movie. I wanted her to look at me the same way as she did before. But there was some reservation in the way she was around me. Well, of course there is. Of course. You hurt her really bad, Michelle. It's going to be like that for a little bit. But if you love each other, it won't be like that forever. You... I'm sorry, but you gotta prove that you're there to stick around. I could never really read Sam that well. I wanted to know how she truly felt. I leaned back against Sam's shoulder and she automatically wrapped her arm around me. Her hand rested on my thigh. Sam moved her palm up and down the creases of my skirt slowly, as if it was her own idiosyncratic habit. I shifted my leg and fidgeted in my seat. I felt guilty that I couldn't really pay much attention to the movie. A movie could be saved for viewing at another time. Tonight, what I wanted was to affirm the love that we have one more time. Michelle, Sam, I missed you. Okay, I'm going to assume you two slept together because that the ellipses in the dark... I'm going to assume that's what happened. There was something incredibly indulgent about waking up late on a weekday that made it almost seem criminal. I'd stayed over at Sam's place. It was late morning by the time the light of the sun streamed through the window blinds, its warm rays landing softly on our bodies. It gently woke us up from slumber. We took our time getting out of bed. The world outside had already been long awake. I could hear the sounds of cars and the activity of people outside while we still comfortably laid on the bed. I felt Sam drawing slow circles on my back. I turned to face her. She was beaming with a radiant energy. It was dazzling. I felt shy. I wasn't used to being with someone like this. I buried my face on a Sam's shoulder. She responded by tenderly wrapping her arms around me. It wasn't bad, I thought, to be close to someone like this. Being held and touched. It made my heart race. It was a beautiful September day. The sky was so blue. There was absolutely not a cloud in the sky. The air was refreshingly clear after the heavy rain last night. I was glad I could share this morning with Sam. We eventually got out of the bed. We showered and got dressed. I borrowed some clothes from Sam. I had trouble picking something out at first. 
Sam's closet was full of flashy, colorful outfits. Only Sam could pull them off the way that she does. I looked for something more plain and simple. While I was deciding what to wear, I noticed Sam was putting on a pair of jeans, and I thought it might be nice to match her a little. I picked out a cream-colored turtleneck and a stonewashed denim skirt to pair. That's so cute! Wait, please let me see! I want to see this outfit! That sounds adorable! Oh my- Look at you two! Oh, these outfits are adorable! Oh, you're so cute together! Oh, What do you think? Oh, and that updo too! I just noticed that! Whoa! Wow, we look good! <laughs> huh, you look great! I mean, so do you! Jeez, wow! You could be a Miss Hong Kong. Stop it, you're gonna make me blush. Really? Is that a compliment or an insult? It's a compliment. I'm saying it from the heart. You're beautiful. Sam. <laughs> uh, do I look too young for this look? I don't want people to mistake me as your younger sister. Uh, they won't. <laughs> Believe me, they won't. Eh? I think the clothes look really fashionable on you. You look like the cool and independent woman that you are. You just know what to say to make a girl blush. Oh my goodness, Sam. Really? I hope I can match you. You look really stylish today. Yep. Yeah. I'm just noticing new things of her outfit because I keep like looking at her, like referencing her a little more. She's wearing suspenders too. How are you... You pull off this shit so how she's perfect. Sam's just fucking perfect. Oh, Michelle. I think we look perfect together. Oh, cute. Oh, this is this is shaping up to be such a wholesome episode. I'm so happy. Your hair. It looks good this way too. Oh, thank you. Why are you blushing? You know you look good. You know. <laughs> Will you be heading to your shop later today? Not today. Today is my birthday. Really? I didn't know that. How about you? You don't have to go into the office today? No, I don't. I was forcibly given the day off because I like to overwork myself and my boss said, Nope, no, 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 no. Get out of here. <laughs> and I'm grateful. Hmm. What? Why don't we go somewhere then? Where? There's so many places we could go. How about Ocean Park? It won't be too busy on weekdays. I don't really like amusement parks. Oh, really? Are you scared of the rides? I'm not afraid. They aren't exciting enough to be worth the lineups all day in the sun. You're quite amazing not to be excited by amusement parks. Is that so? I just think we're a little too old for them. Eh? You're never too old to enjoy something. I suppose. It's just today. I want to look good in front of you. This is so cute! Oh, whoever the writers are, you did such a good job. This is adorable. Oh, this is what I was missing from the other ones. It's just this cuteness. Oh, it's been going on for so long. Michelle, I feel the same way. I want to show you off today. I just gotta keep pausing and blushing and just... Oh, this is cute! <sighs> what would you like to do then, Michelle? Anything is fine. Anything except for the amusement park? Yes. What, are we gonna end up there anyway? Apparently not. Okay. No particular destination came to mind for either of us. We decided to go to the metro station and make our choice there. We played a game. One of us would blindly point a finger at the metro map, and we'll go wherever the finger landed on. It was decided by rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Sam, please pick scissors. And I was the lucky loser. <laughs> I approached the metro map. Oh, you didn't even tell me what y'all picked? Oh. Oh. I'm gonna say Sam picked scissors then. <laughs> I closed my eyes and spun around. My finger pointed to Sim Sha Sui. I probably butchered that, and I'm sorry, but I'm trying. Uh, don't make me say it again! Fine, I'm gonna do what I did with Lady of Mystery. That place, it was. It was a silly game we played. 
The station officer made judgmental looks when we went through the fair gates. But who cares what he thought about us? Yeah, who does care, Michelle? <laughs> That's my girl. We hopped onto the southbound train. The late morning train was so much more relaxed compared to the early morning train. Took our seats. We were able to get adjacent seats without effort. As soon as the train started moving, Sam leaned onto my shoulder. She gave out a slight yawn. I thought to myself, would she enjoy working an office job? She normally has her shop open so late. It would be a major change of pace for her. And would I enjoy working as a shopkeeper? I would be less reliant on my coworkers and more on myself to manage the business. It must be difficult in its own way, too. I mean, okay, if we're thinking realistically here, I think it's easier for you to go work with Sam because there's a lot less pressure and responsibilities and I think you'd actually appreciate that more than Sam fucking trying to fit into a fucking clinic, you know? Like, I, I think it's a better route for you to work with her. But, eh, whatever you want. Hmm. I can't believe I would have never met Sam if not because of a broken shoe. If it wasn't due to a fluke accident, we probably would have never crossed paths. Despite how different our lives were, we were able to understand each other. It's funny when I think about it. The next station is Sim Shashui. Doors will open on your left. We arrived at our stop shortly. Our destination wasn't far. We didn't have anything planned, but with this good weather, I'm sure anything would be enjoyable. Oh, what the f- Are we at a boutique? Okay. We followed the flow of late morning commuters. Our first stop was the shopping plaza nearest to the station. That's better than shopping in the city. We had a leisurely time browsing through the stores. We tried on cosmetic products and clothes for fun. What do you think about this outfit on me? <laughs> it's a choice, cowgirl. <laughs> Way too old. <laughs> huh? Too old? Coming from Michelle? Coming from Michelle? What do you mean by that? What you have on looks like something I saw my father wearing once. <sighs> well, I was going for the folk look. What? Like a cowgirl from the American Wild West. Well, you got it. <laughs> oh my god. Like Patty Page? Not exactly. I was thinking Kay Rivers. Eh? Who? Alright, Michelle, I want to see you try something on. I don't really see anything I like. Let me pick out something for you. Oh, uh, what, what are we in? What are we in? How skimpy is it? <laughs> Michelle, come out. <laughs> I, I fear. I'm worried. Wait, I'm not ready. It's difficult to put this dress on. It would be a dress. You, you just want to see me in something tight, don't you? I mean, thank you, but wow. Okay, I'm about to come out. If it doesn't look good on me, just say it, all right? Okay. Come on, I want to see. Come out, Michelle. Don't try to flatter me. Oh! Wow! Damn, Michelle, that actually looks really good on you. What the? Is that even a dress? That looks more like a fucking... Is it a pantsuit? The one with, like, the legs on the bottom instead of a skirt? That looks really good on you. That's really cute. That's adorable. You look good, Michelle. But let's hear Sam's verdict anyway. So, what do you think? <laughs> I think that face says it all. I think she likes what she sees. <laughs> what? Are you holding back your laughter? No, I just think you look really sexy. <laughs> Sam, we're in public. Goodness, don't you can't say things like that to me. Stunning. I think it's perfect on you. Sam! <laughs> really? Yes, it's a very modern look. Huh. No. An open back dress is too revealing. Oh, come on, Michelle. Not at all. You can wear a jacket over it if it makes you feel any better, you baby. Or a little cardigan. You... Come on, just get it. You look good. My underwear is totally see-through. <laughs> come on, you baby. I'm changing out of this. <laughs> Michelle! Don't forget to try on the other outfit. Oh, there's more. I picked out something to match, too. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, what What on earth are you? 
I can't tell if I love this look or I hate it. The pattern, the pattern takes me off guard. The skirt looks great. Oh, oh. Sam looks fucking great in skirts and it should be illegal. So of course it looks good. I'm stuttering because wow, she looks good. And jeez, but wow. All right. Let's see. I'm ready. Oh. Oh. You know, I don't hate this. It actually, it does look like cute paired with yours. So I, I don't know if I'm in love with the bow. The bow looks a little weird, but the rest of it looks good. So what do you think? Uh, you don't like this one? N no. <laughs> you look good. Really? Hmm. I think you look stunning in this one too. You think I look stunning in everything and that's very cute. We're ready to hit the disco. Uh, are we going to Cecilia's? You look ready. But I don't know about this one for me. It's flashy. Y yeah, that's, that's the point. And the top is tight around the chest. It's a little uncomfortable. Oh, now I know why she picked out this outfit. <laughs> Shameless Sam. Is that so? Silhouette is quite fashionable. I think you should show your appeal sometimes. Yeah, the silhouette is what you're looking at, sure. Eh? It's stylish, but I don't think this is my look. Don't get me wrong, I think you look glamorous. You're always so fashionable and eye-catching. More than any other pop star I've seen. Michelle. I think I should pick out my own outfit to try this time. I want to match you in my own way. Aww. Aww, yay, Sam's got me too. That's so adorable. Aw, Michelle. I look forward to seeing what you'll wear next. <laughs> Don't expect too much. Alright, here we go. What you got? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that... That doesn't really... Okay, the outfit's cute. It doesn't really match. At all. You look like you're about to go into a classroom. Oh, Michelle. Uh, ahem. <laughs> what? You look exceptionally cute. Like a plum blossom in snowy mountains. How do you manage to turn that into the... Sam. I'm just giving myself away. If any girl wants to fucking fluster me, I'm just giving them the answers right here. Oh my god. Don't. Huh? What do you mean by that? The look is so fresh. I can feel the spring breeze. Well, if you like it, I might just get it. I love it. Okay, it's on sale anyway. Please wait for me to get changed. It was fun trying outfits with you. Yes, I had fun too. <laughs> Aw, cuties. We walked out of the shopping arcade and followed the signs for the pedestrian footpath. We walked along Victoria Harbor as if we were tourists in our own city. It was a wonderfully sunny day. I haven't seen such blue skies and white clouds over the city for so long. It was nice to simply admire the harbor skyline on days like today. Michelle, close your eyes. Hmm? Sam placed a white hairband in my hand. Huh? For you. Oh. When did you get this? When you were trying on the clothes? You didn't have to get me anything. It's a small thing. I thought it'll look good with what you're wearing today. You think so? Well, if that's a very tiny little bow I can see in your hair, I think you want it to match, and I think that's cute. Can you put it on for me? Of course. Sam placed the hairband on my head. It's the same one you were wearing before! Oh, Sam! How do I look? Perfect. Sam. Eh. You compliment me too much. Please be honest with me. Flattery will get you nowhere. Eh, uh, I am being honest. You've caught my eye since the beginning. Stop. And I don't say that just to flatter you. <laughs> it's quite a clear day today. <laughs> Isn't it? It's nice after it rains. The air is fresh. It is. I should get a photo of you. No, thank you. Shadow Matt. What does that? Heh. Okay, what? Just wait a moment. 
I don't know what language that was, but uh, okay. Hmm? What's that? A disposable camera. Eh. What's that? You don't know what a disposable camera is? Oh, Michelle. I saw them selling it at the kiosk. Isn't it neat? Is it expensive? No, not at all. Come on, Michelle. Lean beside the railing. Do a sexy pose. Sam, stop! <laughs> I don't really like photos. It's okay. Just stay there. Huh? The film is loaded. Let's not waste it, okay? Five, four, three. Wait! Say cheese. 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 <laughs> ah. Shoot, I left the flash on. I wonder how it'll turn out bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it'll turn out so bad. Probably terrible. Throw it away. No way. I'm going to use up the whole roll today. Eh. I'm going back in the mall. It's getting too sunny. I can't take the glare. It's not at all. It's our first date together. It'll be an important memory for me. Yeah, the first official one anyway. It's nice to have something as a memento. Don't you think so? You're so cute. We're not on a date. Why the fuck would I say that? Holy hell. Yeah, I suppose so. The fuck would I say we're not on a... <laughs> no. It is. It is nice to have something as a memento. Right? Sam. Ah, uh, never mind. What is it? Do you think we could ask someone to take a photo of us together? You know, I was thinking it. But please, yes. Yes. Of course. Let me ask someone. One moment, alright? <laughs> okay. I can't wait to see all these photos once they're developed. Are you sure you took them correctly? I'm sure. Oh look, that ferry's coming in. Huh? Want to get on the ferry? We can continue our date on the island side. We can just get back on the subway to get across the harbor. You! Stop being practical and get on the fucking ferry. Be cute. It's faster. But the ferry's more romantic. Oh, Michelle. Come on, it's a wonderful day to be out. Let's have some fun. Enjoy the view. The ferry fare is cheaper, too. That's true. I'm getting on. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> I went along with her. It's true, we didn't really have any specific plans in mind for today. I've been so used to rushing here and there during my daily commute. I forgot I could take it slowly today. We boarded the ferry. The wind carried the strong, salty smell of the water, but it wasn't unpleasant. It wasn't a long ride. I watched the familiar skyline get closer. The skyline has changed so much over the recent years. I wondered what it'll be like for Hong Kong in the future. Will the view of the mountains be covered up by buildings someday? Will the landmarks I recognize still be there? Where would I be in the future? And where would Sam be in my life? Well, hopefully someday she's your wife. I shouldn't think about these things right now. You know, enjoy the moment. Today was a relaxed day for both of us. If I was at work, I'd probably be having lunch at my usual spot near my workplace at this time. I question if things were going smoothly without me. My supervisor had asked me to take the day off. But if I have to make up the time for all the work left undone in my absence, I should have just gone into work today. Oh, Michelle, you workaholic, but I'm the same way, so I get it. I was growing anxious. I didn't want to find a stack of documents waiting on my desk the next day. As if sensing my growing displeasure, Sam linked her arms with mine and squeezed my hand. It was time for us to disembark the boat. Okay. Oh, here we are. Look, there's a ding-ding tram waiting for us. Hurry, we have to hop on and make our escape. We're not in a movie. Please humor me. Okay, okay. Ahem. Oh no, the tram is starting without you, Sam. Hurry, let's get on. Ah, stop the tram. We got on whatever tram that was stopped near the port. I forgot to check the tram number. It didn't really matter to us where it was heading. I looked at all the buildings that passed us by. I saw my office building in view. I told myself that it would be all right. My coworkers were more than capable of filling in for me during my absence. I will not think about work today. 
Sam tapped my arm and pointed to something outside the tram window. It was a weird advertisement for bug spray. Hey, don't stick your hands out the window. Hmm? My father once told me that he saw someone lose his arm on the tram. Does that actually happen? <laughs> it did and it could again. Really? The tram moves so slowly. It's still dangerous. Please be careful. All right, all right. Now that I think about it, I haven't ridden a tram in a long time. Is that so? Do you use your bike instead? You know, my cousin is an actuary for an insurance firm. She said that motorcyclists are seven times more likely to get into fatal accidents. Great pickup line, Michelle. Stop. <laughs> That's crazy. Are you worried about me, Michelle? Constantly. I'm just stating some statistical facts. Well, I don't take it into the city that often anymore. The roads are getting busier and busier. I mostly use it when I'm going to the countryside. I see. Do you drive, Michelle? No, I never learned how to drive. I see. I want to get my license one day, though. It's something I've been putting off for far too long. There's no need to rush. There's so many bus lines these days, and they're always talking about expanding the subway. I don't think they'll ever build one all the way to Kowloon City. Maybe someday. Uh, you know, I'd like to go on a road trip someday. A road trip? I think it's exciting to be able to go anywhere the road will take you. Really? Do you travel a lot? Not much at all. I'd like to if I had more money. Money aside, if there's a place you could go, where would it be? Hmm. California. California? I like warm places. The thought of getting in a car and just driving for a long time on some winding road, with the wind in your hair and the radio on loud. I think it'd be fun. Huh. I thought you had already been there before to visit your brother. It was a short trip and I didn't really get to go anywhere then. It was one wedding banquet after another and then I had to fly back home with my dad. I see. I want to see the ocean again from the other side of the world. I never liked to be anywhere far from water. It just doesn't feel right. Are you a fish? Perhaps in a past life. <laughs> Say, what is it? Do you ever think about where you would be after 1997? Your brother lives in the United States. I'm sure it wouldn't be difficult for you and your father to get a green card. I thought of it. But you know, Hong Kong is where my livelihood is. If we left, there would be no one to take care of my mother's remains. More or less everyone that I know is all here. To uproot myself and start all over, I'm not sure if I would want that for myself. Hong Kong is my home, after all. It's a place filled with important memories. Don't you feel uncertain about what the future holds? That date is just another ten years away. Do you really see yourself living freely then as you do now? We don't know what the future will be. The handover is an inevitable outcome. You have to think about it now. My coworkers are always talking about it. Some already started their immigration applications. What about yourself, Michelle? Do you plan on moving away? Me? I'm not sure. I don't have relatives overseas who could sponsor our immigration. If I go, I'll go anywhere our passports will allow. Perhaps Canada? It seems like a peaceful place. The air and the weather might be good for my rheumatic mother. Canada, eh? I've never seen snow. It might be nice to visit in the winter. I thought you said you like warm weather. I never said I didn't like snow. I want to try skiing someday. Huh. Are you entirely pessimistic about Hong Kong's future? It seems so unstable. I fear that our civil liberties won't be protected. It'd be better to leave before it gets worse, I guess. If everyone packed up and left, what will remain of the city? What's wrong with people wanting to live their own lives and achieving their dreams? I have hope for a democratic future. As long as people are willing to stand for what they feel is right, we can enact change for the better. I want to treasure this city. Its people, its culture, its history. If we don't try to protect it, who would? And we shouldn't stop at protecting the status quo. We should try to make it a prosperous society for everyone. It's the right thing to do. You are amazing, what the hell? That's not realistic. Well, even if I moved away, 
I'll probably find myself coming back one way or another. It's hard to leave behind something completely. Huh. <laughs> you talk so tough. Really? It's just my honest opinion. The future's not decided yet. We have the ability to decide it for ourselves. <sighs> well, if you don't have any plans on moving, I might as well stay and see how it goes. I just started my career. I want to see how far I can climb. Michelle. What? Are you starting to get hungry? Want to get off here? I am a little peckish. All right, let's alight. Oh, I know a restaurant around here if you'd like to try. Yes, take me there. Oh, We spent the day like this, letting our feet take us anywhere. The places and the streets that I've frequented often before seemed so different and new. It was exhilarating. I wanted this day to go on and on. As we walked through the narrow city streets, I saw our shadows grow longer. No matter where we went, we couldn't avoid the setting sun at our backs. Oh, this is pretty. At the end of the day, we took the ferry back across the harbor. The wind on the water was cold. I could feel the season changing. I watched the sky slowly darken with the sand. A sliver of the crescent moon could be seen between the buildings. I could not tell from its pale golden light whether it was the waxing moon or if it was the waning moon. I wanted to ask Sam if she knew, but I held my tongue. I thought to myself, would it be possible to spend time together like this, always? I have one more shot on the camera. What should it be? Can I take it? Of course. Okay, here. What will you take? Lean on the railing. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> yes. You'll develop these photos, right? Yes, of course. Then, let me keep the last one. Michelle. Oh! <laughs> Sam moved over to stand from the backdrop of the harbor skyline. She leaned against the railings and posed with confidence. The lights reflecting against the water produced a soft, colorful glow. Sam smiled at me through the viewfinder. She had a lovely smile similar to that of her mother's. I told myself, I won't forget this smile. I counted down. Three, two, one. I took the picture, and I realized that I forgot to turn on the flash. <laughs> I felt my heart drop. This picture develop into a blurred image? I didn't want to lose this moment. Even if my memory fades away, at least let there be a record of it. It was already dark and I didn't trust the steadiness of my hands. You got it? Sam kept smiling. There was a sincerity in her smile. But I couldn't help but fear the unknown. I, I think so. I'm excited to go develop these. Want to get them done now? There's a photo developing store that's open until midnight near my place. Not yet. I don't want to see them just yet. Huh? I want to keep today in my memory for a little bit longer. So I could look back on them later with fondness. <sighs> Michelle. It had been a thought lingering in the back of my mind. That I would eventually have to go back home. I was courageous when I was with Sam, but I feared that once I returned home, I would go back to my old way of thinking. I didn't want to be alone with my thoughts just yet. I'll be here for you. We can be together like this again and again, and create many more memories together. Sam, I know. I just... I just had a good time with you today. I'm scared of losing it. I don't want today to end. Me too. I wish to be together longer like this. Sam. But I'll be here for you tomorrow and the next day. There's nothing to fear. Sam. I want to be with you more too. But I should be heading home. My mother must be worried about me. I'm really sorry that I can't be with you more than this right now. That's alright. You think I won't let you go home? I think I wouldn't stop you. <laughs> Well, no. Do you want to see me again? <sighs> I do. I want to see you again. Me too, Michelle. I want to see you again. Sam. I feel ashamed. <sighs> Not because of what we've done. But because I have to hide something. You're a good person. That's why you feel this way. Sometimes the truth can hurt someone more than a lie. 
and other times it hurts more to lie to yourself than it does to pretend for another person. That's exactly it. Sam said it better than I ever could. Whatever you choose to do, the most important thing is your own happiness. Sam? Hmm. Can you accompany me home? I'll feel better if you can stay with me longer. Of course. Oh. Oh, my heart. Okay. We're home now. And I think I'm going to end it here because I think there's going to be a big, probably a big conversation between me and my mom and what I've been doing and all that. And I'm so glad that the story didn't cop out at when we were like all together and stuff because we still have this aftermath. So I'm very excited to see how this developed. But I want to end now where we had a nice first official date. It was so cute and so well written. The visuals are just amazing. Just, oh, uh, this game is so good. It's everything I wanted in a lesbian visual novel. It makes me so happy. Oh. Just don't kill them off in the end or have them break up. I'll be so fucking mad. <laughs> but we're going to pick up with the inevitable next time. So thank you so much. Whoever happens to be watching this, remember you are loved. You are valid no matter what. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. Until next time. Bye.